am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, this one's going to be Andy Bashir. So Kamala, 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 I'm listening to too much Trump. So Kamala Harris uh, has uh, this on her list, according to you know most uh, uh, news sources. Uh, this fella, Andy Bashir, he's the governor of Kentucky, Democratic governor of Kentucky. So um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about him, and um, we'll see what the cards have to say for him. And I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So we'll get started. Andy Bashir. thought it'd be good to know a little bit about him. This guy is smart. I mean, he's uh, uh, been, uh, his father was a lawyer and a politician and a governor of um, the state of Kentucky. So he's been seen behind the scenes. As a matter of fact, he's worked at places that his father worked. And then he likes to uh, assert his authority or challenge authority, actually. But anyway, I'll tell you what I found out about him on Wiki. So his name is Andy Graham Bashir, and he's born on November 29th, 1977. He is now the 63rd governor of Kentucky, and that's since 2019. Uh, he's a Democrat, and he served in the, as the 50th Attorney General of Kentucky from 2016 to 19. And he had sued the then governor, Matt Bevin, several times over issues such as pensions and, uh, and defeated Bevin, uh, as a matter of fact, in the election. Uh, Bashir was elected to a second term in 2023, and as of 2024, he and Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman are the only Democratic statewide electric official, officials in Kentucky. So that's a pretty uh, small niche to fill. Now, Bashir was born in Louisville, the son of Jane and Steve Bashir. His father was a lawyer and a politician, and he was the governor of Kentucky, like I said, from 2007 to 2015, and then Bashir studied uh, anthropology, his son, Andy Bashir, studied ant anthropology at Vanderbilt University, where he was a member of, and imagine, he studied anthropology, and that led him to be a politician. Uh, he was a member of the Sigma uh, Chi fraternity, and he graduated in 2000 with a Bachelor of Arts, uh, magna cum laude, and he attended the University of University Law School, and that's where he received his Juris Doctor in uh, 2003. So uh, Bashir was a 2001 summer associate at the same law firm when his father had started his career. And uh, Andy Bashir also represented the uh, Indian company, which sought 20 million, um, the, the Indian company, so like Native American Indians uh, company, which sought uh, $20 million in tax breaks from his father's, who was then Kentucky governor, administration. So sued his father's administration. On November 2013, Bashir announced his candidacy for the 2015 election for Attorney General of Kentucky, and he had, like I said, had sued the uh, current governor, Matt Bevin, several times. And then um, during uh, Bashir's tourney as Attorney General, while he was uh, campaigning uh, against Bevin for governor, he abused uh, the current governor as a, an abuse of his executive powers, which looks like it's probably the case. Now, in October 2019, Bashir filed nine lawsuits against pharmaceutical companies for their alleged involvement in fueling Kentucky's opioid epidemic. And by executive order, Bashir appointed Attorney General elect. Now, Daniel Cameron, uh, and he would serve the remainder of Andy Bashir's term, and Cameron was Kentucky's first African American Attorney General. Bashir and his wife, uh, Brittany, are both deacons of the Christian Church, uh, Disciples of Christ, and they have two. Uh, children. So that's what I know from Wiki about Andy Bashir, and now we'll see what the cards have to say. Okay, so we're going to use the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. She's an Australian um, designer, and um, she does the makes these cards digitally. If you stay till the end of the video, I'll tell you in just a few minutes about the cards, and uh, they're pretty interesting. One of my favorite psychics, uh, Violetta, these are the only cards she'll use. So, um, Andy Bashir. So, yeah, he's got a history of challenging authority. Um, which is kind of what you want uh, on a, in a Democratic politician, I think. Um, and, um, I mean, he, he learned law at the knee of his dad, really. I mean, if you grow up in a house where your dad's a lawyer and a politician and a governor, um, you know, you're going to pick up some behind-the-scenes pointers, and it looks like he did. So, Andy Bashir, and he would probably bring with him that uh, 
um, critical red state of uh, Kentucky. So, and you have to think the Camelot is thinking about those things too. So we're gonna see where he places in the Cana Camilla, Camilla lineup and, uh, and try to get into his head too. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, uh, you know, of meditation. Year, current governor of Kentucky. I mean, he's gone up the ladder, so, so what else uh, can he do? Attorney General, governor, uh, he has to go into national public office because he's a young guy. Um, okay, so let's see if we can just get into the head of him. So he's definitely in the running for this. He's good with it. Three cars to see where his uh, psyche is, Andy Bashir. I mean, I think you have to start with that and then we'll see uh, what uh, Camel is thinking. Andy Bashir, where's his head on all of this? So, Six of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules of Law. He sees himself as, as the roar, moving people out of troubled water. Um, the Eight of Swords is uh, feeling a bit trapped by your circumstances, so he may feel he's a little bit uh, perfectly uh, defined by the job that he's in right now, perhaps. Um, and uh, he may feel that he is too strong of a candidate, that Kamala may feel that he's too strong of a candidate. I mean, after all, she was Attorney General of California. She was a senator, but then this guy was a governor. So he may feel a little trapped, but I mean, he can get past that. The Eight of Swords can always get past that. And then the last card is the Five of Coins, just outside the reach of, of good help. Five of Coins is value. So he may be feeling a little weak, on this but a lot of times it's the people who are feeling weak who are the most successful because they continue to try and the people who don't uh, who feel like they've got it all like hmm let me think JD Vance uh, can actually in fact be the weak uh, candidate so Kamala Harris Kamala what where is she on this Andy Bashir uh, circle and Kamala and Andy Bashir Kamala and Andy Bashir is he going to be in her top five I wonder so Kamala regarding Andy Bashir she has to consider him uh, worth looking at three cards one two three I mean he's got a an impressive uh, resume but it's been in governments that he's familiar with, Kentucky. He knew it from the, from the inside. So Page of Swords, Kamala on uh, Bashir. So Page of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules of Law, she sees him as bringing this to the table in a, in a weak way. Um, three of Swords, Broken Heart. So she's got some hesitance about him. And uh, the Nine of Cups is uh, the Greedy Merchant. We've seen a lot of the Greedy Merchant in these uh, candidate uh, videos recently and uh, so it's emotional but it's you know wanting to show yourself off she may feel he's a little too much of a braggart this doesn't look good to me as for where Kamala uh, puts um, Annie Bashir in her personal lineup for vice president but let's see is he gonna be in the top five of Kamala's picks because like I said before you know she's looking at these guys individually weighing the pros and cons. I imagine she's got a spreadsheet. Um, top, oh look, these two came out together. I'm just gonna read those two. Is he in the top five? Seven of Swords, Theft and Betrayal. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules of Law. And this is Theft and Betrayal. She doesn't quite trust him. And ah, that Six of Swords right there, moving out of trouble with water. I think she's of a split mind on this guy. But whenever your split mind involves something a little sinister, uh, that's not a good thing. So will he be in the top five? I don't think he will, but let's go further and see if he'll even be in the top three. And then we'll still ask the question as to whether he'll uh, get the pick. So will Andy Bashir even be in the top three? You know what, that was three cards right there. I'm gonna use those. Okay. Okay, short-term celebrations. He could make it that far. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. This is a smaller celebrations on towards you see in the background something grander 
So he could make it to the top three, although those are four. Uh, the two of wands is short-term uh, planning, okay. Will he make it to, no, he'll be just outside. He will might go to the top four, but he's not gonna go to the top three, but I'm still gonna ask that one last question if uh, Andy Bashir is going to be Kamala's pick. Andy Bashir, will he be Kamala's pick? I think culturally, uh, there's too much between them. Will he be Kamala's pick for VP, even though the last two uh, draws seem to show him pretty weak? Um, it, no, disaster, tower card, 80 coins, practicing his craft, and broken heart. That's no, no, and no. So, I don't think it'll be him. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So, this is one of my favorite decks, the Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So, except when I use it. Now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like, and so there's this good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her, and uh, she's a webmaster, an author, an artist, and she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie, uh, dreams down under so she'd be tickled to know this I think uh, so anyway let's look at the cards um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader uh, Violetta uses these cards exclusively they're the only cards she'll use so there you go they're beautiful though and they're not hard to handle they're a little slicky and when they're new they're very gilded on the edge and then as you use them of course that starts wearing off which is sad but um, but they're beautiful, they're easy to read, they're right or white uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So, you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with, uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So, anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you. Uh, to look at the different cards when I do this, and uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here.